Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is a video that is going to be related to the Irregular Choice collection of the Alice in Wonderland shoes. They, I believe they brought out seven shoes in total. Um, one pair of boots, one pair of sandals, I think two pairs of flats, and then three pairs of flats, correction, three pairs of flats, and then the rest are going to be high heels. Um, out of the whole collection, there was actually three that I went for. Um, I didn't really want to take them off a display at the moment, but um, you could probably tell which ones I managed to get. And I do apologise for the, the uh, shakiness. And so... Um, I'm hoping to give you a bit more of a of a insight onto each one. The boxes are amazing. They literally sold out on the same day within a space. Or I was actually on the site. I was on the regular choice site, which is one place you could get them from. And they also had partnered with Shoe um, over on in in the UK to. Um, have a selected range of their shoes so I was on the regular choice site on the I believe it was the 26th of February uh, this year and they said they were going to release them at 12 o'clock that is 12 p.m. lunchtime not 12 p.m. nighttime which I tried to obviously find out numerous times about um, and they didn't really they were good to respond but they weren't really good in a fact or in a sense of actually um, replying quickly um so i was on their site i was on their site and shoe site website um refreshing the page for god knows how long a regular choice had their countdown that was telling you how many minutes and seconds you know all that jazz and um well all i'm gonna say is wow the absolute madness of it all so it hit 12 o'clock a regular choice site released the shoes and the prices because they didn't really they showed you the shoes but they didn't tell you prices and that was the one thing obviously for any fan that would want to get shoes and obviously budget you need to know the prices obviously you know i knew it was going to be over 100 pounds for a pair of shoes but um yeah crazy prices in the end crazy prices um so they released them i was on that site I literally clicked the one pair of shoes because I was going to order three from their site. Um, I clicked on the first pair to try and put them in my basket. It kicked me out. That was the sheer volume of people that were online at that time trying to get the exact same shoes. So, um, I went onto the shoe website of which they released the Cheshire Cat heels. Um, they had the heels, the flats with the Alice and the doorknob on it they had the flats with the playing cards and the March, uh, the white rabbit and the Mad Hatter on the front they had the heeled versions of the boots for the time for tea which are slightly different in, in variant of what they've done for styling um, and they had two others I believe oh they had a they had an Alice pair that was a uh, completely like from the white rabbit collection or something and they had a white rabbit shoe um with the heel sort of drawn between that and the other one but i actually his face weren't so good i have to say um and being a personal fan of that film in particular you want to be a perfectionist and actually get the stuff you like you know what i mean so I went on to shoe, they had the Cheshire Cat shoes. So I actually ordered them first because I was still getting continuously kicked out. This is how crazy it was, okay? I was on my phone, which I'm using today, my, my 6 Plus. I was on my phone on the website reloading. I was on my iPad reloading. I was on my mum's huddle reloading. I was on my dad's huddle reloading. And my mum was helping me too. And my sister was helping me from her work. And one of her work colleagues was helping her at her work. I know, right? So, um, I managed to get the Cheshire Cat shoes. So that was fine. You know, one down, two to go. Um, I tell you, if I didn't get these, I would actually be so distraught and heartbroken. Because I rarely buy shoes and... <laughs> heeled shoes at that and um 
they rarely bring out Alice in Wonderland stuff. Except I've noticed quite a lot of Disney related products are coming out with Alice in Wonderland stuff um, this month or more. As you can probably see in the reflection, I'm actually talking to you holding this up. So if I occasionally change arms and it's a bit more like wee, it's because I'm changing my camera around. So, um, I was getting in preparation to obviously, you know, have bad luck of not actually getting these two shoes um however i had work at two o'clock so um literally after refreshing and refreshing and refreshing on my phone i managed to get oh you add them into your basket yeah i had three occasions i got them into my basket one occasion they thought i wanted two sets of the same boots i didn't want two i wanted one tried to update it took me out and crashed me Second attempt, I asked for the flowery ones. They thought I wanted three of them. To, I tried to update it. They crashed me. The third attempt, I actually put for both pairs. And they thought I wanted four sets of the boots. And I'm, what, I'm not paying £880 for the set of boots. For four sets. Thanks. Um, and it crashed me. And then, finally. And I mean, finally. Last seconds. Um, I must. It must have been everyone who was on the site the sheer volume of people had actually started to calm down manage to get their shoes so obviously the website the website was having issues i had to call customer service of which customer service said they are not taking phone orders and i was like oh absolute nightmare so sheer luck the flower garden shoes actually was able to go in my basket this was on my phone um I technically didn't buy all these shoes. I'm going to tell you this now. I am a very, very lucky person. I did, however, buy these. These are from my own money. These are from my sister. And these are from my mum. However, I am paying them back for these. So, um... A whole long story short. After many, many times of being kicked out of the site. I managed to get these. And have to have them ordered. And do you know what? For the sake of... The fact that I had to, my mum paid for them and then I had to pay £3 on top to have them posted to me. And then I had to order, manage to get these and then £3 on top. And do you know how easy it would have been to have been able to get both of them at the same time in the same checkout and have the same postage? Because it would have only cost me once, not twice. Do you know how annoying that is? But anyway, I digress. I actually do like my collection and... um I will be coming off of this long-winded conversation to show you them in a bit more detail because what you see in the front is only a bit of it and actually they're so detailed like the way they've been made is amazing so bear with me I'll get the first pair of shoes out which will probably be these shoes the Cheshire Cat ones so I'll be getting there give me a second so here are the um, Cheshire Cat shoes these are the heels they are actually um, knitted this is the inner style of the shoes with the print he's got his tail that is on both set of shoes the heart heel um, which is actually really sturdy. I thought I wasn't going to be able to really walk in them. The iconic Cheshire Cat Grim. His ears that are actually like a uh, outwards version of them. They do become different on the soles. So there's the picture of him on his head. Sorry, that was my thumb. Then you have him with his head bouncing off i think that's the point where he says we're all mad here and you know all that the other best thing about it which i really do like is no it doesn't want to work that way they light up they actually light up i actually tried these on in shoe of which the bloke said to me your heels are lighting up i was like what is this about and he's like your heels are lighting up so I can't believe it. These were 
140 pounds I got free po free prices because I actually asked them to send them to my store. My local shoe store didn't actually have the luck of getting the shoes in. So um, I was really lucky to have got them because they sold out completely on shoe as well as the regular choice site. So they're really nice, really comfortable. They are really comfortable. Um, I've literally, I've tried them on to walk around in twice. Um, I purely got them for display purposes and I know people are like why did you spend that much on a pair of shoes if you're only going to display them but I guess if you all have a hobby that you spend a lot of money on it could be fish keeping, pets, hamsters, uh, clothes, handbags, uh, shoes, you know technology, you are going to want to display them. So these were the Cheshire Cat ones. I'm going to move on to the boots okay so these are the time for tea boots or something like that they do have certain names to them of which I will put in the description box below um, I know there's certain sites that still have a kept a couple um, of shoes but they are because they are limited edition ones once they're gone they're gone unless a regular choice decide that they want to redo them similar thing to how Vans made limited edition shoes, they sold out and then I'd probably say a few months later they brought them out again. So really not really limited edition are they? So in a bit more detail, the heels, uh, not the heels, the toes are sparkled. They've got a really nice patterning. This is actually a stretch material of the dormouse and the bow. And really nice edging of this silvery metallic material. The other bow, the Mad Hatter, flower detail again, and the sparkly sides. This is the inner side of the boots. These boots are actually the one pair of shoes that they do that have probably the highest heel to them but they have really stretchy navy elastic here um, similar patterning I love the fact that they've done this wedge as a cake how cool is that here's the teapot's who's heels how cool similar side to be honest they the inner and the outer side are completely the same. As you can tell. And the back, they offer obviously the backside view of the kettles. The kettles? The teapots and the teacup. And they have a bow, bigger bow on the back and a similar floral material. Now this is the part I'm going to like the most. They have the same material, the same sole patterning as they do on the inside of the boot um, of all of their shoes. As you can see, I love their printing of them. The one with the Dormouse on the front has the Mad Hatter on the, the sole of the shoe, which obviously is the opposite. And then, turn it around, the Mad Hatter has the Dormouse in the teapot. So completely opposite pictures to each other. And again, they've got the patterning. Yes, they are 37. I have incredibly small feet. They are size 4 in the UK. And actually, um, I have also tried these on. I've tried all of the shoes on. Um, I've probably walked around my house at least once with them. Because of the heel, I don't always wear high heel shoes. Um, I'm mainly a flat person. Flats, should I say? Dolly shoe, ballerina shoe. Um, but... I actually love them and they're actually comfortable really comfortable um, however sometimes I do feel like they could make the 
they did make my feet look slightly pointy but that's probably because my foot is more of a round rounder shape than pointed but um I can't complain against that so that was the boots I'm going to move on to the last pair of shoes so this is the final pair of shoes that I own from the Alice in Wonderland collection from the regular choice these are the Alice heel Alice healed um, in the wild in the got you know in the flower garden the main toppers are the dandelion and the tiger lily which I personally love these are my favorite flowers if I had to say which flowers I like they have the exact same patterning in the shoe as they do on the hit the arch part of the bottom of the shoes and generally they are just really cool the sides have all of the sort of different flowers these are like a sewn in embroidered and it's like a black shiny matte material and it goes all around the shoe then here is the Alice heel really nice job that they've done really nice paintwork um the sole of the shoe like i said the arch is exactly the same and the heel then you have the rocking horse fly let me just get this the right way around you have the rocking horse fly on the one shoe and then you have alice when she is down to her small size before entering the flower garden with the bread and butter butterflies these were priced at i would say 140 pounds and then there was three pounds three or four pounds shipping on top of that the boots i forgot to mention the price i actually paid was 200 and sorry about that um my camera decided to run out of memory again so i had to clear it so uh the boots were 220 pounds and then I had to pay three pounds, I believe, three or four pounds again to post them. And they were shipped separately because they were made into two individual orders. And I would say they took about a, under a week to get to me. So all in all, I was really pleased with how quick they turned up. I think I got one pair of... I think I got the boots on the Thursday, the heels, the, fl the Alice heels on the Friday and then on the Monday or the Wednesday, I think between that time I actually got the Cheshire Cat shoes before the other two. So um, I've probably gone really loud and I do apologise. So all in all that was really good. So I'm going to flip you back round now captains. And captainesses <laughs> hold on right oh so welcome back <laughs> sorry about all that long windedness but um i've just popped all of them back into place looks like i've never even moved them um i've still got some more tweaking to do with my display but um as you can tell i have had my two different Cheshire Cat ones in the same area as my shoes. The box, I never showed you the box, but they are all the same design on the box, um, minus the sizes obviously because the boots is actually the biggest box there in the collection. Um, I'm guessing this, the flats would be smaller and thinner because of the fact they're flats. So I have the Alice, as I said, Cheshire Cat ones above the Cheshire Cat box. I have, because I don't actually have anything with the white rabbit on it, I have this, funny enough, found it in a charity shop, um, stamper that I believe was probably a McDonald's toy at some point, or the white rabbit. Um, for all of you that are into my, into watching the Zoom Zoom collections, I will be doing a new video. I think I've got a few that I need to update you guys on. Um, so here's all my Alice collection that I've done for it but then 
I've still got some more to add because I've actually got the Cheshire Cat heel shoe, the Alice heel shoe and the Queen of Hearts heel shoe ornaments from um, what you've seen in my previous videos related to uh, ornaments. Um, but I've literally hung up my ears, ear hats. So you have the one with, I'm going to come down, with Alice. Alice main dress, Queen of Hearts ear and the Cheshire Cat on the other ear and then you have the teapot which always reminded me of the ride which I do love when every time I go there um, there's those and I also have the pop ooh, pop figure of the Cheshire Cat from the Tim Burton movie um, I do still want to get the original but it's always so hard to find a reasonably priced one because of the fact that they're harder to find and then I'm going to pan out a little bit because I have my Disney store uh, Alice, Ma, uh, Queen of Hearts and White Rabbit soft toys there this is in new ones I actually managed to get recently which are the vinyl rations. I already had the white rabbit oh goodness sorry I already had the white rabbit but then you've got the this is one of my recents which is the green hedgehog from where they play croquet in the I believe this is the nine inch vinyl ration. And then I managed to get this set, which is only uh, it's a limited edition of 1,500. They were released in uh, Disney World. Um, and this one is of the walrus and the carpenter. Carpenter. He is um, one of the... I think he's... I don't know. I don't know what height, but he's one of the biggest ones that you can get. And then you've got the 9-inch carpenter. This cost me... Um, I'd say about £40 in total, but I don't mind because it's a limited edition. Um, and then other than that, apart from I've got my dress set up on there, um, I actually have the Jessica Rabbit pin, which looks a bit odd because of the fact it's like that. Jessica Rabbit pin in the Queen of Hearts costume and then I have also ordered that I'm waiting for for it to come is the is a Walt Disney Imagineering um, from the D23 Expo that they only made 300 of each pin there is a set it's in a set of 10 however um, I've only managed to find the one reasonable and I've gone for it and yes it was about 30 odd pounds um, from postage and all that and the fact it's limited edition um, one but it is of a teacup from the ride and it has the dodo and Bill the lizard so when that comes through I will happily post a video on that one but um, other than that I hope you enjoyed uh, if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel and I hope you have liked these videos I uh, any questions always leave a comment i will be sure to get back to you as soon as possible and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you later yay bye, -bye.